okay so now we've um we figured out some things with um retain cycles um and we walked through it but, but let's uh walk through a situation where you have a retain cycle with um a struct because it can happen so um one problem with a um, with the struct is that oftentimes you may have a property in the struct and it is of it is of another type, a custom object type that is a class, right? And uh, that can cause us to have, uh, we can have a retain cycle. And um, I'm gonna give you a quick example of it. So um, let's go back here to models. We're gonna create a new file, um, Swift file and uh i'm gonna call this swift file give me a second um i'm gonna call this swift file uh call it a okay so we have a swift file called a let me keep this simple okay and it is struct a right and We'll say let property of type B prop B equal prop B is of type B, but B is not real, right? Because we don't have, and we should get an error here. So now let's go ahead and let's create another file. And this one should be called B. B, right? And we're going to say class B, right? Excuse me. Uh, we'll say class B. And we're going to have var. Um, let me see. Prop B. I'm going to say prop A, P-R-O-P, A is of type A. So as you can see, uh, this is very like circular, right? Uh, DNIT, right? And um, we're going to print. Um resources deallocated okay so we have the we have the resources that are deallocated right b has no initializers that's what i'm gonna air why this should be an optional right and let me go back here okay so now Right now, let's go back to our view controller and on view did load. We're going to do this. Let's do this, right? We're going to say, do. Why is this killing me? Do. Um, we're going to say, I'm going to say, let's, um, let B equal B, right? And the B equal B, and we're going to say, let A equal a why is this jumping off this thing a equal prop b right and this should be b and then of course we tie this back why i mean not why uh, i'm sorry um b dot property a equals a 
So this is look like this looks like um yeah this is just doing um running a circle right sort of and so um let's see we don't see this written into we're not seeing this print out, right? We're not seeing um, resource deallocated print out, right? And this is our, uh, this is it right here. Um, if we want to check to see it, again, we can go here. We can say, um, of course, let me just, before I do that, of course, we also go here, right? And if something was running, continuously running, it will be increasing. The memory be increasing over time. It wouldn't be leveling off or even slightly going down. But um, if you want to see that there is a memory leak, we can go here, product, profile, Okay, replace um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. leaks. Mm -hmm. And there we go. We're doing that, and it's running. And there we go. We see our leak. I'm going to pause, click on here, and this is the leaked object right here. This is the place in memory. Right, zero six six zero B, right? And uh, if you wanna see what it looks like, that's it, B, prop A. So it loops back to B, that's it. And um, so we have a memory leak, let me go back here. If you want to find this in memory, um, we can look here. Um, I think we got to stop this, right? Right. Um, that's it right there. This is on the calls. Uh, go back here, 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 here. Um, oh, my God. I cannot remember how to do that. Um, let me see something. That's right. Okay, so I forgot. I have to go here. Click this while it's playing. Debug memory graph, right? Okay. And now I can look for the things that are um, not app delegates. Go to view controller. Okay. And we should have something that says A and B, but I guess um okay, so yes, so this is the problem right here. B. This is it right here. You can see it has this little warning thing next to it. And if you go back here, it's the exact same place in memory right here. 0x6000E5D. And um, whatever. 0x6000E5E. Okay. Well, it's not the same thing, but it has the um okay, hold on. Okay, so here's okay, I I have it right now. So let's go back. I'm gonna go back here. Let me close instruments out, quit instruments, right? And we have this. I'm running this. This is um having a um of course we know that we have a 
retain cycle and how do I know we're going to go to this profile replace right leaks right record okay and this right here is it right here that's our leak I'm gonna pause this is how we get to our information right here. Uh, I want to look at the cycle. This is the physical representation. Uh, our retain count is one. Go back here, the leak. Uh, of course, if you want to, you can see the call tree. Um, eventually, at some point, I'm going to get into that, but not today. Go back to the leaks. Okay, we're here. Okay. Um, we have this right here, and this is where our retain cycle is happening, and there we are, right here, okay? This is the file where it takes place. That's B. This is the file where it takes place, okay? So again, let me go back here, um, get rid of this, and then... This gives us more information, okay, about um, our error, okay? So go back here. Um, yeah, so if you have a problem finding it, okay, this is it right here. The file, be allocating initialize, 32 bytes, Reference count one, okay? Um, now, uh, I'm gonna close this out, right? Or let me pause it, stop, don't save. Restart this again. Um, we have this, I'm gonna go down here. I'm going to get information about this, and this can also give you information. That's B. Um, it definitely has a, a mem different memory address than what we saw earlier. Um, I have to look into that, honestly. This is definitely representing a physical representation of the actual um, circular reference. Right, just like we talked about earlier. Um, yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, and so um, on, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to create a. a a breakpoint that will alert you whenever your um well actually let's go ahead and get started. Whenever you do have an um a um a reference uh, or a not a circular reference, but yeah, a, a, a memory leak based on uh presenting um you can get you can be you can not only tell in your instruments, but you'll be able to be notified through the Xcode app, you know? And I'll show you how to do that in, um, in a minute.